Welcome back to the Astro Park, everyone. My name is Kwesi Akwa, and this video will be another continuation of this series that I'm calling My Telescope Family, where I talk about the different types of telescopes that I personally own and use for astronomy and astrophotography. So today's video is going to be all about my largest refractor. This is the newly designed Orion Eon 130ED. So let's get this big boy up on the mount and I'll go over all of its features. The Orion Eon 130ED is a triplet apochromatic refractor telescope. So you already know the drill by now. There's three lens elements up front, and one of those lenses is made of ED glass, or extra low dispersion glass, giving the telescope very good color correction, as well as minimal chromatic aberration, providing a high contrast, true color image of your subject. And the ED glass used in this telescope is made of FK61 glass. So, as its namesake suggests, the Orion Eon 130ED has a 130mm aperture and a 910mm focal length, giving the telescope a focal ratio of F7. So just like my first two refractors, I also use this telescope for deep space astrophotography, as the focal ratio at f7 gives it a nice medium field of view. However, with the 910 millimeter focal length, I tend to focus more on the medium to smaller deep space objects, which makes this my workhorse telescope that I use for galaxy season during the springtime, as it provides excellent images of single galaxies, galaxy pairs, and galaxy cluster targets. So objects such as Bode's galaxy and the Cigar galaxy together, the Leo triplet, the Pinwheel galaxy, the Whirlpool galaxy, basically most of the galaxies in the Messier catalog, as well as those medium to smaller deep space objects will all turn out very well in a telescope like this. And also with the 910 millimeter focal length, you can also use this telescope for the solar system objects as well. So far personally, I've only used this visually on the moon and planets and it's provided some breathtaking views of those subjects. And with the ED glass installed, you can push the magnification up nice and high and not worry about any chromatic aberration. And also with the 130 millimeter unobstructed aperture, it should provide a nice clean image of the moon and planets as well. Just be sure that you use the appropriate Barlow lens to get the planet up to the correct image scale. So some of the features that this telescope includes, just like the 104 EDX2, it has a series of machine baffles that go all the way through the telescope from top to bottom. And this is to ensure that the light from your subject is all gathered to your camera sensor or your eyepiece to provide the best contrast possible. And also with the newly designed 130ED, Orion replaced the three inch Crayford focuser with a two and a half inch rack and pinion focuser. So the rack and pinions are known for their heavy lifting capacities and it will be able to hold your image train very tightly and securely without any flexure. And as the standard, it can also includes the 10 to 1 reduction focus knobs. So this silver knob is your coarse focus and the black knob is for your finer adjustments. 
and you can adjust the set screw on top here to adjust the focuser in any orientation. And also another new addition is that they added a twist locking mechanism in the back. So you can untwist it here, attach your eyepiece or your camera, twist it back, apply the safety screw, and you're all set for observing or imaging. Now, unfortunately, one of the negatives that I have for this telescope is that it does not include an option to adjust the camera in any orientation. So what I had to do was I had to buy a CAA or a camera adjustment adapter to put into my imaging train. And that did add a little bit of back focus for my camera sensor. So I had to adjust and refocus that. So it was a minor inconvenience that I wish was included standard with the telescope package. And lastly, just like the 104 EDX2, it has a sliding dew shield. So you can extend this fully to protect the lens from any dew formations as well as external light sources. And then once you're finished, you can retract it back into its nice compact form and you can stow this away in the heavy duty aluminum case that it comes packaged with. And also one thing to remember, this telescope is quite heavy. It weighs about 21 pounds. So you want to make sure that you have a mount that can support that weight. And also you want to be careful when installing the telescope on the mount as well as stowing it away in your travel case. Here's a few sample images that I've taken so far using the 130ED. So that was my overview for the Orion Eon 130ED. I've had a lot of fun using this telescope and it definitely has a lot to offer both visually and photographically. If you're a refractor telescope lover that's looking for a package that includes a good sized aperture, portability, and versatility in terms of deep space and planetary work, then I would definitely check out the 130ED. So thank you for watching Astro Park, and until next time, take care, and I wish you all clear skies.